This is the face of a virgin headed to the hotel on his wedding night. What's up guys, how you doing? I'm Paul. I'm Morgan. Mm -hmm. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. We risk giving TMI. To help you navigate DMI, dating, marriage, and intimacy. So Morgan, today's video, I was thinking about the topic and I was like, I think there's a lot of genuine curiosity. Well, there definitely is. So for what it's worth, I thought I would just share my personal story, my experience with it, being a virgin on our wedding night. And then I would move into like some tips that I would have for you to maybe calm your nerves and to prepare you a little bit. Morgan, how does that sound? That sounds great to me. Those of you in our audience, you kind of know our story Morgan has shared about her past and just the, the redemption the redemption arc that she's had. I guess obviously this video is gonna be more centered around me. Correct. Morgan, please <laughs> jump in, chime in, give your own perspectives where appropriate. You got it. I'm just gonna be honest with, uh, with how things went down. So Morgan and I are dating, we're getting serious, engaged, and the next thing you know, there I am walking down the aisle. No, me. <laughs> just transparency. We had talked about sex and even kind of what like our wedding night sexually was going to be. Granted, we waited till we were much closer to walking down the aisle. Right, yeah, yeah. You, you probably don't want to get too into those type of conversations early on. It just it doesn't make a lot of sense. Yeah. We were getting close and we were starting to talk about it. Use your discretion there. We stayed at the wedding reception for a little while. We did some dancing with our friends. Worth. Then we we hopped in our getaway car. Did we, did we have a driver? No. Oh. Wait. This is the face of a virgin headed to the hotel on his wedding night. Well said. <laughs> well said, my love. You look beautiful. You look stunning, by the way. Thank you. Love that picture. But in all reality, this picture, you guys, a picture is worth a, worth a fa 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 fa. It's worth a thousand words and truly like I could just show you guys this picture and I really don't need to say anything else in this video. What it's like being a virgin on your wedding night, it's that face of excitement. But anyway, um, so we get to the hotel room. It has been a long day. Morgan threw up not too long before. Yep. During the vows. <laughs> so by the time we got to the hotel, I was hungry. You were. Um, yeah, so we checked in and we went to the little like market area and got a bunch of random snacks. Did we get like those dib dibs? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Ice did, cream bites. Did we get dibs or did we get just like Ben and Jerry's? No, I think this is with dibs and some other random things. <laughs> yeah, okay, we're given too much. We are given too many details. No, this is good. This builds the, the hype of... Okay, you're right. And I think it's good too because I think a lot of people that are virgins on their wedding night are like, so do we like have to cop in our car and have sex right then okay. and there? <laughs> so, per you know, I, I know some people are probably gonna laugh at some of the details that we share. Some of the <laughs> like, oh, like that's so obvious. But again, a reason we're getting even more intentional about talking about intimacy in more of our episodes is there is genuinely like this cloud of cluelessness when it comes to sex within just Christianity, like Christians and sex. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. So we're trying to remove that cloud a little bit so that it's not so awkward and stigmatized and mysterious. I don't yeah. think it needs to be. No. So. So anyway, uh, we get to the hotel, we eat some snacks. I was really hoping you wouldn't be too tired to have sex. <laughs> I knew, I knew. I was like, no, we're having sex. I, no, I knew we were that. having sex that night. <laughs> not gonna make this 26 year old man wait any longer <laughs> but I like how you said that we got snacks we were just having fun mm -hmm. together because yeah. the best foreplay is fun play yes amen <laughs> I just came up with that can't stress foreplay enough we get to the hotel room eating taking it slow and then Morgan says all right Paul I'm gonna hit the shower yes so I go take a shower because and brush my teeth because you know puke, um, and I just freshen up. I take 
my fake eyelashes off but keep most of my makeup on. Oh, interesting. Maybe actually I left my fake lashes on. I don't probably took them off because those things drive me crazy. But So you did leave your makeup on though. Yes. Even though you showered. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Interesting. Yeah, I didn't like wash my hair or anything. I like tied my hair up in a bun and just rinsed my body off and got all freshened up and put on some good old lingerie. You did, yes, very yes. good. Because that was something I think we had talked about is like yeah. what you were going to wear and stuff. Well, I told you that I had gotten some good stuff from my bachelorette party. You guys, I was <laughs> so excited. <clears throat> Hence the picture. <laughs> right. What were you thinking when I was taking the shower? What were you doing and thinking? Yeah, so I was, help me remember this, as we're talking, more details are coming <laughs> up to the surface. I was laying in the bed on one side, mm -hmm. full of anticipation. Um, I think I had, I had at least started <laughs> yeah. removing my clothes. <laughs> Yeah, I think that you were down just like a v-neck and your boxers. Yeah, I think that was probably the case. Maybe not a shirt. I can't remember. The anticipation was so real and, and it was so cool because it was like, I love this woman <laughs> and now I get to, you know, truly demonstrate my love in this incredible intimate way. Like, the, it's truly the consummation of love. Yep. So I'm laying there, you come out of the restroom. Yeah. In your lingerie. Wow, now I'm like, okay, how, how detailed are we going to get here, Morgan? <laughs> I guess I didn't truly think through. <laughs> what we're talking about. When I first walk out, what are your thoughts? Well, I, I, I was, okay, it was, I was about to see this woman I love naked. And that just was, again, it was, it was and okay, here we go. People say like purity culture contributed to me feeling guilty mm -hmm. for sex and, sex and pleasure. Fair enough, you know, we all have different experiences. I kind of went through some forms of purity culture, I guess. There was that, like, I think, I'm about to see a woman, <laughs> like, here in this room with me naked. <laughs> but it wasn't like a guiltiness. It was just like a, like, praise I... the Lord that I'm getting <laughs> to enter into the stage of life. Yes. Yeah, that's good. So was there any type of nerve? Were you afraid that you wouldn't be able to perform that? Great were question. You, were you worried about like not being able to please me? Like what were what was going through your mind as a virgin, never having done this before? I think for me, full transparency, I had done a decent amount of research. I didn't want to be just totally clueless. So I had done a decent amount of research. I had had conversations with married friends. So that combined with just our God given, it's kind of like when two people love each other, mm -hmm. it just kind of makes sense. Even though I have heard uh, one story in particular where, yeah, uh, the girl just was, had no clue how to do, just, she was completely clueless. But typically I think it's kind of like our bodies just naturally gravitate towards mm -hmm. each other and then become one flesh. <laughs> so I, I wasn't too fearful. I will say though, Morgan, like I remember in the first couple weeks of our marriage and honeymoon, I did struggle with anxiety. Like mentally, I got up in my head and it did affect my performance, if you will. Wow. Yeah. I did I not that. say any, share that? I don't know. I don't think so. It did actually mess with me a little bit, but fortunately we got past that pretty quick. <laughs> but we're talking about on the wedding night. <laughs> we're in bed together. Foreplay continued, which was just gently touching each other and well, we just made out yeah <laughs> yeah highly encourage that don't feel like you have to rush into yeah penetration yeah just spend as long as you need just touching each other and communicating in that way removing the performance of it all am i gonna do a good job am i gonna please the other person just just love on them i do remember morgan this is kind of this is kind of an intimate detail so uh, we're gonna save it for new location. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Got my lunch. No, 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 no. You already ate your lunch.
All right, Morgan, um, the intimate detail. I, I'm just gonna share it because I just think, and to me, honestly, it feels, I'm not equating myself to the Songs of Solomon, Mr. Romantic himself, <laughs> but it, it has a little bit of that feel to it. Okay. I remember when you took your shirt off, when you took your bra off and just seeing, you know, your nakedness for the first time. Again, this is, you know, my first experience with something like this, and it was just like, I'm, I'm the luckiest guy in the world. I, I'm experiencing this woman's body. This the, God has given me this woman to enjoy, to take pleasure and to delight in, as the Song of Solomon was saying. He's so just delighting in this woman's body and the way he's describing it. That's how I felt. I'm just getting to touch all over you. Uh, it was very special. So, yeah, all of this is is the act of, you know, sexual intimacy. It's not just penetration. Yeah, I feel like maybe if you're a virgin and it's your first time and you haven't done a ton of research and it's your wedding night it's like you're just thinking like we just have to like do this go straight to mm -hmm. penetration and that's just that's a small part of sex and so yeah yeah taking your time enjoying one another like most of my memories from my first time yeah it was just kind of all of this like that's the main stuff i remember and then obviously intercourse and and all of that it it did come very naturally it's okay to be nervous it's okay to feel like you don't know exactly what's going on and that's why one we do encourage some communication about the wedding night before the wedding night happens with your person um, just so that you guys can kind of voice expectations and voice like, hey, like, can we just take it really slow? Like, I'm, I'm nervous about this. This is our first time and I want it to be special, but also I don't want to like set it up so high in expectation that if something doesn't happen exactly how we thought, like we're going to be disappointed. You know, even like premarital counseling with our pastor, that was a good space to go ahead and start discussing sex because you really do need to use your discretion and, yeah. um, you know, you don't want to overdo it, but yeah. All right. So Paul, what tips do you have for virgins on their wedding night? guys before I give my tips shout out to our patrons seriously thank you guys for supporting what we do on this channel if you guys want to be part of the patreon fam patreon.com slash Paul and Morgan show we link it below we do patron only zoom calls weekly patreon encouragements we have a discord community it's just a way to go deeper with us and support us all right Morgan my first tip would be if you are close to being in this stage yourself this stage of life a virgin on your wedding night be watching our videos like this we also have been making youtube shorts and a yeah. lot of them are sex tips mm -hmm. so just be watching those be kind of getting in the right headspace so it just doesn't slap you upside the head yeah you can do research we do encourage that but obviously you want to be careful with the type of content that you're taking in and if you feel like this is causing temptation before the time is right stop <laughs> good good advice Morgan yes my next tip would be we've kind of already alluded to it but it's take as much time as you need trust me like if you oh man we went 20 minutes of just hugging do that like don't there's honestly both parties will enjoy that and it'll probably be building up the anticipation yeah now if one of the parties is like <laughs> uh I'm just not ready to do it tonight and then the next day comes I'm not ready to do it tomorrow and then like two weeks go by that might start causing some you know yeah guys come on you gotta consecrate the marriage <laughs> <laughs> I mean I, I don't want to even I want to be careful because there are people that have said like oh it took me a while and I, yeah. I want to leave room for that but you know you might want to examine yourself like 
why have I needed two weeks to have sex with my new husband or my new wife? Yeah, and honestly, if you are finding yourself two weeks, a month, three months in, and you all still haven't had sex, I would highly encourage seeking a counselor, yeah. seeking help um, to have some conversations to find out why you're struggling so much. Yeah, well, completely, completely. But, you know, if it's an hour long of just cuddling, no shame in that at all. In, in fact, slow things down. Prepare for it to be a slower, more drawn out process. Yeah. All that stuff's gonna be enjoyable, especially when you have not touched each other sexually. It's yeah. gonna be great. And another piece of advice would be go into it prepared to laugh if things get a little bit awkward. Don't get in a mindset of like, it has to look a certain way. Oh no, it didn't look that way. Mm -hmm. Just lighthearted, lower the bar a little bit in terms of, it, it may not look perfect. Right. Like even though I said that uh, there's just the natural instinct kicks in. Mm -hmm. It may be like, oh, we're trying to fit together in a certain way that's a little odd. Like, mm -hmm. this is the first time you've done it with this person. <laughs> so have grace for yourself. Let the other person, I mean, just, just talk about that. Yeah. Yeah, and, and both parties should have grace for themselves and for each other, and it will end up being awesome. All right, guys, comment below. If you're single and you're anticipating being in this stage of life, hopefully here before long, was me sharing my experience, our experience, helpful for you? Married couples, let us know what was your first time like. I, I think that this would be good conversation to continue in the comment section. I think it could be very valuable. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate honest conversations like this. We enjoy talking about it. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we love you. Until next time, have a wonderful rest of your day. We'll catch you again very soon. Have hope. And be free. Uh... Hey guys, as you may have noticed, we get very few brand deals. A big reason for that is because we make unashamedly Christian content. We've had brand deals taken away from us because people who don't like us reach out to them and demand that they cancel us. Due to the fact that we stand on what the Bible says and we don't conform to culture. Which is why our patrons, the names you see here, are so important. You guys really are the lifeblood of this ministry. We could not do it without you all. If you guys believe in this content and you want to partner with us on Patreon, go to patreon.com slash paulandmorganshow or click the link in the description. Go, Go team. team. That was the one. That was the one. <laughs>